Hi! In another video, I explained how to work with percentages. But now in this video, I'm going to do a couple of um, exam questions. And the more exam questions you work through, the more you'll be able to see how questions are asked and where little tricks are. So um, let's go and let's have a look at this. This first question says, to raise money to go and watch the Formula One in Italy, C and Pitt decide to host a dinner. They budgeted for an income of 25,000 Rand. The cost of the dinner is as follows, 100 Rand per person. And if a couple buys two tickets, they receive 10% discount on their total price. There were 86 couples and 102 single people who attended the dinner. Verify showing all calculations if they reached the budgeted amount. So first of all, you've got 102 single people. Let's say singles. Their tickets were 100 Rand each. So the total cost or what they got in from those ticket sales were 100 Rand times um, 102 and you get a total there of 10,200. Then there were 86 couples. Now that will be a little bit more tricky to work out because it's a calculation, a discount that you have to work out first. But if couples buy tickets of 100 Rand each, then it means they would have paid 200 Rand per couple. But it says there's a 10% discount. So we're going to subtract 10% of 200 Rand. And that is equal to, let's see, 200 Rand minus 10% of 200 Rand is, um, you could say subtract. I'm just going to do this extra calculation for those of you who might be unsure. You're going to say um, times 20 Rand. And that uh, times 200 Rand, sorry. Then 200 minus... 10% of 200 is 20 Rand. And then you get a total year of 180 Rand. So they have to pay 180 Rand because they got a 20 um, Rand discount. Then you take the 86 times 100, let's say 86 times 180, and we get a total of 15,480 Rand they received from their ticket sales to the 86 couples. So the total that they received, let's see, it's the singles first, 10,200, plus they got 15,480 from the couples that bought tickets. And let's see now, we've got to verify or check out whether it's more or less than 25,000. If we add that together, we get a total of 25,680. So then your, to your final sentence will be something like, yes, and then you can carry on by saying, yes, they received more than 25,000 Rand, it was 680 Rand more, and so they reached their budgeted amount. But always put in that final sentence just to explain or say exactly what was asked, because the last line of your question says, verify, showing all calculations, if they reached the budgeted amount. And they were actually 680 Rand over. Right, let's go to the next question. Right, this question is a follow on of the previous one. So it says Sia and Pitt had to postpone their Formula One visit to 2022. A ticket would have been $455 in 2020. Calculate the projected ticket price in two years' time. If the inflation rate is 3,7% in 2021 and 2,8% in 2022. Now, I just want to give you a little tip. If you have a question like this where it goes over a period of time, where you have to do one calculation and then do another one using that number and, and have to work through a, quite a longish process to get through each year or each week, do this with, with your question. You draw bubbles. So you draw a bubble here. And this one will be for the first year, 2020. Then you draw another bubble for 2021. And then another bubble for 2022. 
And in the first bubble, you're going to put the ticket price at the beginning. So it was started off as $455. So that helps you to see now where we're starting and where we're working towards. But between each bubble, you're going to, you can do something like this. From 2020 to 2021, it says the inflation rate was 3,7%. That means it increased because 3,7 is a positive number here. So it increased by 3,7%. And then from 2021 to 2022, it increased by 2.8%. So now we've got a nice picture of um, how we're going to progress through the sum. We're going to start with 2020 and we're going to write down the price. It was 455. Then you add, because it's increasing, um, it says 3.7%. Of 455. You carry on with your sum here. 455 plus, and now you can write this as 0, 0,37 times 455 equals 455 plus. Now we're going to if you calculate what's in the bracket there, it's 16,835. Now you mustn't round off, even although there the are three numbers there after the comma. We don't have money with three numbers after the comma, but you don't round off in the middle of a sum. We're going to carry on to the next step. Now if we look here, the five is... If it's five or more, it means the next, um, the, the previous number, the three, is now going to become a four because it will look like this. Because if it's five or more, it becomes a four. If it's less than five, it will be comma eight three. So now that is our ticket price. And you write it in there. Now you take the ticket price of 2021 and you put it in there. And now we're going to add the 2,8% of this new ticket price. 2,8% you write as 0, 0, 0,028. So I'm just going to do it like that because now you know the process from the previous example that on the left. But it's 0, 0, 0, 0,028 times 471,84. And that will equal, uh, let's put the 471,84 here, plus, and then you work, let's just put the close the bracket there, you multiply that and you get an answer of 13,21152. That's quite a long number after the comma, but you leave it like that. It, to write down five digits is fine. Do it like that, and then we're going to add these together. So we're going to get, what we're going to get now is 485,05152. Now we've got those, those digits. Now we want to round off because we want to get a ticket price. And a ticket price that can only have two numbers after the comma. And if we look at the third number, it's a 1. 1 is less than 5. So our final answer here will be 485,05. We don't round up. We will just keep it as... Um, 0 5 after the comma and then that will be our new ticket price or projected ticket price in four um, in 2020 it will be 485 dollars comma zero five and then that's your final thing and then what you should state at right at the end is say final ticket price so you can say um, yeah you could say ticket price ticket price in 2022 so that your marker can see very clearly what what you're actually meaning you know what you're doing here but you must we must communicate with your marker and make it clear to your marker or your teacher to so that they know what you actually um intending and what numbers mean what on your page okay so i hope that's helped you because and if it has please subscribe to this channel because I, i'm going to be posting more videos as the 
term goes on and the, and the year goes on, we are going to have more videos up. Um, life sciences as well. So if you do life sciences, even more reason to subscribe. And um, you're welcome to comment as well and give me any suggestions of um, videos you'd like that would help you.